Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be going over how to use the new Sony Smartwatch. I just did a full review on it, so if you haven't checked it out, please do. Now, uh, I'm not going to go over how to connect it through Bluetooth. I did do that for one of my uh, friend's channels, uh, HU Tech Videos, which uh, the link will be down below, so if you want to know how to connect it for the first time, check out that video. Other than that, uh, let's get right to it. Uh, downloading the first apps uh, will be just going through, once you have the app of Smartwatch, you'll have it. So you can see, it kind of gives you an idea of uh, what apps are available. And at the very top right here, it's kind of hard to see, but it says search for applications. Don't know if I can make that any clearer. Not really. Um, so search for applications. You actually tap that and it will actually take you to all the applications that are made for the watch. So which is really nice that Sony made it uh, pretty easy to find all of them. Uh, and they're just really nice. Uh, ones I recommend of course getting right away are things like Facebook and Twitter. I don't have a Twitter that's why I don't haven't downloaded it. Uh, music player is pretty nice just because you can control your music right away. And just show you how that's done. Just play the music. Oops. And you can turn up the volume. And you can also forward it or rewind it. So I can go to all of the next songs. And you can pause it. The cool thing about that is, is you can actually choose what song, uh, or sorry, what player you use when you're doing that. And you have lots of other ones uh, to go on. Uh, one I recommend definitely, oh, messaging of course is a must too, as well as missed calls. Uh, but the one I really recommend that I really like is the Gmail notification. I love getting my emails through the watch. So that's something I definitely recommend. And it's one that was not made by Sony. It's actually a third party made this and it's just really good. I have three Gmail accounts uh, including Ask the Android Guy email. So uh, definitely, I mean I love getting all your messages like right away and seeing them. Okay, so I know as soon as I get home or as soon as I get to a computer I have to message that person back. So uh, definitely really good and really nice and surprising it works really well for you know one that's not made from officially by Sony. So it shows that uh, it's quickly on support. Um, you definitely see a lot of uh, other ones that are uh, uh, of some characteristics from Asia. I'm not sure if it's Japanese, Chinese or Korean. Of course there's so many uh, languages that I don't know in that culture but uh, just definitely one of them uh, that come from there and really nice. Um, so uh, there's lots of support already uh, for only being out in less than a week. So definitely a lot of apps I'm sure to come. So it's really nice overall. Um, there's weather ones, battery life ones. Some you have to pay for which I have not downloaded any of those. Just haven't felt a need for it yet. Now what's really nice about the apps is uh, you can do certain things. So uh, one important one, new events, kind of takes everything together. So it takes your messaging, your missed calls, your Gmail, everything it puts in new events all together. Um, and you can display it as a widget or as an app. Now what that means is, when you first turn on your watch, you have these things which are called widgets. So just to give you an idea, widgets are basically just bigger. So this is the new events one. This is your uh, weather, and as soon as you tap it, basically, then you can see, you know, the difference and everything like that. And then pinch to zoom out, and you go out of it. You have your music one, which, see, this is how the widget looks like, and then once you tap it, then it goes to the actual app, so to speak. So it's just kind of, uh, just like your widgets on your phone, it's just a quick one. This is your Gmail one, just got a new message for Ask an Android Guy. Facebook, um, and the important thing about the Facebook one is you can actually choose who you see. So I can actually choose who um, whose notifications I see, as well as what the events are. I only really want to know, you know, notifications and inbox. The news feed would kind of get tedious, of course. I don't need to see every one of every day. Um, and update uh, how frequently it updates, basically. If you wanted to update, you know, every hour, every three hours. Since I only have my inbox or someone messaging me, I'll update it every hour, but I don't think it's that serious to update it every 30 minutes, 10 minutes, or anything like that. Um, 
messaging as well you can actually set up your uh, reply so predefined SMS message uh, which mine is I'll call you back just very simple uh, so I can just message someone that so you know if I'm at work I can just message them like look I'll call you back uh, on my watch without needing to take on my phone so uh, very important on that and um, as you saw right there actually you do have show and new events so just a few things uh, other than that you have this one which is my personal favorite app widget display now app widget display is uh, one that someone else created and it's really nice because you get to choose any widget you have on your phone and be able to use it on the watch widget so let me show you which that one is there's my messages there's my calendar I used the data widget so that way I can turn on and off my data on my phone through my watch which is really nice because you know if I want to save battery life and I don't need the data I can just turn it I can just turn it off and if I need it then again I can just turn it on right back there now this is the top row now the bottom row is all your apps and apps are pretty much the same thing it's not too much difference uh, you just have a little bit more like phone book and which you know are all your favorites so you can just see them and then call them right from there so it's just really nice overall and so it's just nice to go to kind of go around status view which will oops tap the wrong one and uh, as you can see how I'm navigating it's just left right uh, the bottom is the apps the top is the widget and then uh, once you're in something like if I wanted to go to status view where I can turn on and on my Wi-Fi and see my battery life I can actually just pinch to zoom to go back and I can pinch to zoom again to go to the clock which is all the way back so uh, very simple in uh, how you navigate which by the way your manual does not tell you about the pinch to zoom at all so definitely <laughs> that's how you get back is through pinch to zoom uh, so definitely something important to note um, and right now I'm just going to show a demo of how it is when someone calls you. Um, while that goes though, I just want to let you know um, on some of the apps that were on Sony's store, some of them don't work with Android 4.0 with my Nexus. Now I'm not sure if they'll work with other devices and just not the phone. This phone because of 4.0, but it's just something important to note uh, that not all of them uh, work. Um, at least not with every device. I mean obviously this was made for hopeful, uh, for Sony devices mainly, but uh, just one thing that it would be nice if it would work. And just showing you uh, my girlfriend calling me, I can uh, ignore, I can silence it or uh, call it, or I can pull out my phone and then just accept it. So just uh, important ways to know, I'm just going to silence it so it doesn't, now my watch is no longer vibrating. Uh, so just so you can see how um, it looks when someone calls you and then you can just even decline it if you want and then it shows up as a missed call. So uh, just show you ha what happens when someone calls you and it's just really nice and then you can just quickly send them a message like I'll call you right back. So uh, very nice. If you guys have any other more in-depth questions feel free to ask um, and I will answer them as soon as I can. As you know I'll get the emails on my watch. Alright, this has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.